Tecpilla Tolistica Song. Once upon a time, there was a small village in the heart of the jungle, governed by a most respectful chiefess. Greetings, most respectful chiefess. Greetings, dear villagers. But one day, a terrible hiccuping epidemic struck the village. This is terrible. Fortunately, the chiefess had a solution. I shall seek advice from Tecpilatolitica, the great king of the owls. Psst. Hey, hey! An owl king? Villagers who need healing? That's a mission for me! Well, okay. Yes! <laughs> but be very careful about the way you address the owl king. I promise. <laughs> Things that I've got the hiccups now, too. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. The village chiefess forged ahead into the jungle in search of Tecpilla Talistica. She reached a clearing where the Owl King was singing. The respectful village chiefess waited for the end of his song to... Ouch. Lupin, what are you doing? Uh, hello. <laughs> Be careful, Lupin. Tecpilotalistica is a highly respected king. You hmm. must have perfect manners when approaching him. Hmm? Oh, hi. Uh, hi. Lupin, I think the little birds are showing you what to do. Hmm, but that's weird. Anyway, I just have one question. Hi there, Mr. Tectila, uh, no, uh, Tectil, uh, Tecto, uh, Mr. Owl? Do you know how to cure hiccups? Uh, hmm? Lupin, if you wish to speak to the Owl King, you must start by pronouncing his name properly. Oh, but that's too complicated. Hey, Mr. Owl, can you answer my question? No, wait! Oh, no. Wait! Even though the village chiefess had not shown her best manners, the mighty Tecpilla Talistica gave her a second chance and invited her to his banquet. Oh, cool, we're gonna eat. I was beginning to feel a little peckish. Huh? Yeah, green stuff. I don't wanna eat this. Lupin, hmm? just taste it before deciding you don't uh. like it. <laughs> Of you to ignore me. After all, I'm the village chiefess. Uh, Lupin, you haven't been remotely polite yourself. Oh no! Do you think I offended the Owl King? He's a king. You must be very careful about how you address him. Oh no, oh no, this is a catastrophe! Because of me, he won't ever want to save the village from their <gasps> hiccuping epidemic. Uh, begging your pardon? Mr. Little Birds, I just wanted to say I'm very sorry. I think I was very impolite. C can you teach me the rules about how to address your king, please? Yay! Thank you! the birds, 
the village chiefess entered the great Tecpilla Talistica's cavern. King's magical song, the chiefess was cured. She could now return home and heal the villagers' affliction with her own song. The end. Hey, wait a minute. I think I know a better way to end this tale. The village chiefess suggested that Tzikpila Talistica come to the village to cure the inhabitants himself. The end. My hiccups are gone. <laughs> Long live Tecto... Huh? Uh, or Tecto... Peel... Tec <laughs> Tecpilatolistica! Group. Phew! Maybe we can be more relaxed about manners now. Well done, Lupin. It was a very good idea to invite him to sing in the village. But <laughs> now it's time to close the book. Farewell, Sir Narrator. Allow me to wish you all the very best. <laughs> 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 The Captain and Terrible Tina. Once upon a time, there was a brave pirate captain called Vasco, living the good life with his crew and his fabulous treasure. Ladies, I'm as happy as can be, living the good life here with you and my treasure. <laughs> my treasure! <laughs> you can say goodbye to your treasure chest. <laughs> Oh. Terrible <laughs> Tina had struck again. All is not lost. I have a map which shows the way to Terrible Tina's hideout. On board, everyone! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Lupin, what are you doing here? Please, can I be Captain Vasco? I really, really want to go after that treasure. Well, okay, Lupin. Yes! But you'd better behave like a true <laughs> captain. <laughs> Promise? Pirate's word! <laughs> huh? Oh, what a cute little thing you are. <laughs> Captain Vasco set off with his men. Uh, Lupin, rabbits aren't allowed on board. What? Oh, I can't just leave this little furry guy all alone. Hmm. Hmm. Away we go, mateys! Yay! And so... Captain Vasco said goodbye to his rabbit and sailed away with his crew in pursuit of terrible team. Uh, Lupin, you did leave that rabbit on uh, the dock before coming mm -hmm. on board, didn't you? Uh, yes, but... No. <laughs> He's just too cute. I brought him along anyway. You know, Lupin, pirates are really afraid of rabbits. Mm -hmm. They believe that rabbits bring bad luck to a ship. Don't worry. No one will know he's here. Uh, a rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> Curses upon us! We're going to sink! <gasps> oh, no. Hurry! <laughs> And either this rabbit stays on my ship, or I'm leaving with him. Hmm. Oh. And so, Captain Vasco prevented a mutiny and regained control of his crew. Uh, oh, no. No rabbits on board. In fact, the crew abandoned the captain and his rabbit on Terrible oh. Tina's island. I can manage without them anyway. And I've got you. <laughs> Uh, Lupin, huh? do you have a plan? Of course I do. 
Thanks to my map, I can creep right over to Tina's camp and take her by surprise. Oh, that's strange. I'm sure I took it with me. <gasps> my map! We'll come up with another way to find those pirates. Huh? Look! Gold coins! Looks like our treasure thieves went this way. <laughs> Lupin, maybe you should leave the rabbit here. No, someone could take him. And anyway, I don't feel like heading into that jungle all by myself. Captain Vasco and his uh, rabbit set off to find the treasure in Terrible Tina's camp. One for me, one for you, <laughs> one for me. One for oh. you, one for me. Ah, I found them. Well done, Lupin. <laughs> what are you going to do now? I'll ambush them, taking them by surprise with my fierce pirate shout. A rabbit! Ah! <gasps> Curses! Who oh. dared bring a rabbit onto my island? Catch it! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my bunny! <laughs> so it's you, uh. hopeless Vasco. Grab him! <laughs> 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 Bunny! Tie him up and take him out of my sight. <laughs> oh, oh no, what am I going to do? I messed everything up. I'll never get that treasure back. All this because of the bunny. Oh, I should have left him back home. Well, yes, Lupin. Mm -hmm. Leaving something we love behind is difficult. Especially something that's so cute and cuddly. <laughs> oh, you're back! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Now listen, this time you have to wait for me here, okay? Hmm. No, it's hard, but I have to. I'll come back for you afterwards, I promise. The brave captain went back alone to confront terrible Tina. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not the only one who likes soft, cuddly things. <gasps> I know. <laughs> hey, you stole my fish. I did not. It's mine. No, it's not. Hmm? Yes, it That's is. my fish. No, my Give it back. Never. That's my fish. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. He's gone! Ha! Don't move! If you want it back, ah. hand over the treasure! Give it to me! I can't live ah. without it! You win. You can have your treasure back. There! Here you are! Mm -hmm. oh. Captain Vasco recovered his precious treasure and set out to sea again, <laughs> thanks to Tina's ship. <laughs> Terrible Tina was stranded on the island for the rest of her life. The end. Oh, but that's so harsh for a pirate. Huh. Hey, Tina, why did you steal treasure hmm? from other pirates? Everyone has made fun of me ever since pirate school just because of my octi. And I wanted to prove to them that I too was a ferocious pirate. It's true that leaving a cuddly toy behind is not easy. <gasps> oh, that gives me an idea! Uh -huh. Captain Vasco recovered his treasure and set out to sea with a new crew member on board. Ready to sail? Aye, aye, Captain. Because now she agreed to leave her Octi <laughs> behind before sailing off to sea. <laughs> You'll find them again when you return. The end. Well done, Lupin. That's an excellent job looking after cuddly toys. Yes, it is. Every hero can have a cuddly toy as long as it stays at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lupin. Anahi and the Sorcerer. Once upon a time, in the heart of the jungle, a tribe lived happily together in peace. We live happily together in peace. Until one day, a group of terrified animals stormed through the village. <laughs> Amidst the panic, a mother crocodile lost her eggs. Uh, crocodile eggs! <laughs> Huh? They could hatch any minute now! How can we take care of them? We must find their mommy! I know what must huh? be done. A young girl called Anahi stepped forward. She was calmer than the others and seemed to have a plan. First, I'm taking the eggs back to the mommy crocodile. 
And then I'm going to find out what is frightening the jungle animals like this. Lupin? Hi. What are you doing here? Can I take those eggs back? Please, you know how much I love animals. Well, okay. Yes. But take good care of them. Mm -hmm. You're back to your mommy. Anahi set off for the swamp <laughs> to return the eggs to the mommy crocodile. Wow, did you see that? But Lupin, where are you going? Maybe I should go and see what's happening over there first. Uh, unlike what she had initially planned, Anahi took a different path and... Lupin, what are you doing in the forest? Hmm, I just want to see where this light is coming from. Don't worry, I'll take the eggs back later. Whoa! Protect the sorcerer! Protect the sorcerer! Protect who? Protect the sorcerer! Whoa! Uh. Whoa! But what happened to you guys? Huh? Hey! Stop it! Protect the sorcerer! Protect the sorcerer! Phew! <laughs> Anahi succeeded in escaping the monkeys. Oh, those monkeys are truly bizarre. It's like someone cast a spell on them. I've got to find out what happened. Uh, Lupin, huh? you're not forgetting about the eggs, are you? Don't worry. I'll take them back to their mommy before they hatch. Mama! Mama! Uh-oh. Mama! 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 Protect the Close call. Very close. Those monkeys were bewitched by a terrible sorcerer who is wreaking havoc throughout the jungle. You escaped in the nick of time. A sorcerer? He's behind all this? Absolutely. Huh? Mama? Ah, <laughs> crocodiles! <laughs> Sorcerer, protect the sorcerer. Mama? Oh no, I can't hand the babies over to a bewitched mommy. If I'd returned her eggs earlier, she wouldn't have come back to the jungle to look for them. And this wouldn't have happened. But Lupin, hmm? I'm sure there's something you can do. But I can't do anything. He's way too powerful with that staff. Hmm? His staff? Of course, that's the solution! Let's go! <laughs> So, along with the baby crocodiles, Anahi entered the sorcerer's cave. Lupin, what are you planning to do? This time, I have a precise plan. One, get hold of that staff. Two, free the animals from the spell. Not ripe enough! And three, give the babies back to their mother. Okay. What's going on here? Catch them! <laughs> Come on, catch them already! Oh. <laughs> hey, Mr. Sorcerer! Ah, uh, my staff! You won't ever harm the animals again! <gasps> huh? Oh no! Protect oh. the sorcerer! <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to obey me forever! Mama? Ah! Ah! <laughs> out! 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 Hey! <gasps> it's over! Ah! 
The sorcerer had lost all his powers. Now Anahi could hand the babies back to their mother. The animals decided to get their revenge by locking the sorcerer in his cave forever. The end. Wait! Say, sorcerer, why did you want to bewitch all the animals anyway? Animals have always frightened me. I was certain that if I bewitched them, they'd never hurt me. What? You're afraid of them? But they're all so cute. I think I have an idea. And that is how peace came back to the forest. Anahi became friends with the baby crocodiles, and the sorcerer learned how to take care of animals without bewitching them. The end. Actually, those little crocodiles are kind of cute. And nobody is afraid of anyone anymore. Ah, <gasps> a wolf! Oh. Well, almost. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>